Okay, hello YouTube. My name's Alyssa, and welcome back to this glorious channel if you view it all the time. Sorry, I haven't really been uh, recording that much. I'm going to start recording more here soon, or probably now, because I'm done with school and everything, so we can get this going. So today, I wanted to just look through some wrestling news, maybe on Reddit, maybe on, by Google or something, um, and just figure out what's going on in the wrestling world, because obviously, even though I'm in the loop, I'm kind of out of the loop sometimes, so I wanted to see what's up, so... Let's see here. Um, first we'll go under WWE. We'll go to new. Money in the bank results, opinions, and general discussion. Okay, so let's look at this. Jeff Hardy won the match against Cesaro. Interesting choice, but okay. I guess. I don't know. I mean, I would have liked to see Cesaro win. I'm more of a Cesaro fan, personally, but I didn't even watch Money in the Bank, so I can't say that much, but I'm just looking through this because I'm curious. Um, SmackDown Tag Team Championship, Forgotten Sons, Miz and Morrison versus Lucha House Party, winners, The New Day. Oh, New Day versus Forgotten Sons versus Miz and Morrison versus Lucha House Party. Duh, okay. Of course the New Day won. Why wouldn't the New Day win? <laughs> Bailey versus Tamina. Bailey is the winner. Well uh Yeah Yeah No that uh makes the most sense. Why wouldn't Bailey win that match? Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt. Braun won that match. Okay, so they're just burying the fiend character already interesting choice but uh, drew mcintyre versus seth rollins drew mcintyre well good choice good choice wwe good choice you know brian versus alistair black versus Rey Mysterio versus king corbin versus otis versus aj Styles. to the money to bank ladder match the winner was otis i fucking hate otis why no <laughs> let's see i mean brian could have been okay as a winner that would have been fine by me but not <laughs> but they're putting Otis over very very hard right now and even though i don't understand why sure it makes sense fine but uh Okay, Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Oscar versus Shayna versus Nia versus Dana versus Lacey versus Carmella. The winner was Oscar, but I heard I haven't seen any. I haven't even really seen any clips or anything from this yet. So, uh, but I've heard that she used like an elevator to win or something. So that was stupid. Like, uh, as I, I love Oscar for her wrestling, not using elevators to win matches hmm, that's a little weird to me hold on wwe to announce a limited crossover ruling status of intercontinental title this week what wwe is set to introduce a ruling that will allow for some crossover between Raw and smackdown which comes at a time when numbers have been <laughs> when numbers have significantly declined on both shows post wrestling was informed that the ruling will be introduced in tonight, on tonight's episode of Raw with the hope that it will be a similar version of last year's ill-fated wildcard rule. Oh, I hated that rule. Detail of the specifics of the ruling were not made clear to us, but it's expected to keep town crossovers to a minimum throughout the year. Can't y'all just go back to having superstars on both shows entirely like i okay 
at first I thought that the brand split was gonna be a good idea. I thought it could be. I was like, oh, maybe they'll use other people. And maybe, just maybe, that means that other people can get a chance. But no. It's the same people. But it's just gonna be in two different brands. So, there you go. <laughs> One source indicated that this idea came as a request from the networks last week where all hit its lowest mark in modern history with 1,686,000, 100,000 viewers. <laughs> while Friday Night Smackdown has recorded its third lowest figures since launching on Fox over the past three weeks. Oh my god. We've also told we've also been told that the status of the Intercontinental Championship will be addressed this week. The current champion Sami Zayn has not been present at pre at recent shows at recent shows at the WWE Performance Center. Zayn won the Intercontinental title on March eighth at Elimination Chamber at the Elimination Chamber show in a three on one handicap match. Pinning champion Braun Strowman, Zayn last appeared at WrestleMania 36 tape at the WrestleMania 36 taping, where he defended the title against Daniel Bryan on the first night that aired April 4th and was taped the week prior. Re okay, Sammy might not be wrestling right now because he doesn't want to risk his health. Like a lot of other human beings, I mean, Roman Reigns isn't wrestling for the same reason. He's immunocompromised. I don't know if Sammy is, but I know Roman is probably highly immunocompromised because of his leukemia. So Roman, so Roman, okay, so Roman not wrestling makes sense to me. Sammy, I don't know, but he might just want to stay safe. Which is reasonable. Becky Lynch is pregnant and she'll announce it on Monday Night Raw tonight. What? <gasps> Are you serious? Oh my god, if Becky's pregnant. Wow. Actually, it might make sense. Because I don't think she's been on a lot in a long time, has she? Not that I know. It's not like I watch this every week. But, like, wow. Okay, so now let's go under the MJPW subreddit and see what's going on there. Oh, yeah, the Best of the Super Juniors 27 tour events have been canceled. In response to the continuing coronavirus or COVID-19, I don't know if this is going to get demonetized for that. Oops. Um, and in light of the extensive extension of state of emergency measures across Japan. New Japan Pro Wrestling has arrived at the decision at the decision to cancel all events on the Best of the Super Junior twenty seven tour that was scheduled between May twelfth and June sixth. We deeply apologize to fans who are looking forward to these events. Our thoughts are with everyone affected by the disease, as eager as everyone at New Japan Pro Wrestling is to return to the ring as soon as possible. The health and safety of our fans, wrestlers and staff and staff as well as society at large is our utmost concern good we will make announcements about events scheduled after june 6th upon careful monitoring of this developing situation we will soon announce refund procedures for the affected events njpw is continuing to explore the possibility of presenting matches without fans in attendance if staff and wrestler Health and safety can be protected to the highest possible standard. Meanwhile, programs like NJPW Together Project will continue to see wrestlers and staff come together to bring the best possible content to fans while we eagerly await the opportunity to entertain live crowds once more. And then it just lists the events that were canceled. Okay. I know the G1 was canceled too, right? I'm pretty sure. Or have they not even, have they announced anything about the G1 yet? And JPW Post first will postpone Wrestle Dynasty to 2021. 
NJPW postpones Wrestle Dynasty in the interest of running the best and safest possible event for fans. NJPW has arrived at the decision to postpone Wrestle Dynasty in Madison Square Garden. So yeah, they're postponing it to 2021. Okay. Now, shall we go in to Stardom? <clears throat> Let's see what's going on in Stardom. Ake no Fuchi, May 20th show is cancelled. Okay. And that's all it gives me. There was supposed to be a link there, I'm pretty sure, but it's not there. Can I press conference updates? Okay, so the remainder of the events that were in May are canceled. Um, and their shows, it looks like for the shows in, it looks like for the shows in June and July, the tournament the tournament that's supposed to be there then is post the ticket sales are postponed star world special match will be held exclusive distribution on genre world scheduled to be recorded at the end of may matches will be announced later tjpw shows canceled through the june 23rd tjpw we canceled all shows until 6 23 not because not because we absolutely can't have shows until then, but because if they can be run given the situation, it will be under a new set of standards of social distancing, etc. So please don't take this decision entirely negatively. You go, TJBW. Maki Ito Queen. The Ice Ribbon family. What's Ice Ribbon? Now did... Now if he's... Ishikawa. Now Ishi. Now Ishikawa. I'm so sorry if I butcher this. Now to Grace, she was only ready nine. She was ready to go nine months ago, so it was really no surprise. With all spectator shows canceled, Ice Ribbon had no choice but to go ahead with her debut. At race ribbon number 1039 at the dojo today. But didn't they make up for it? Not only did now meet an event, but she or she made an event against the Intercontinental Ribbon. Tag Team Champions, the Drop Kickers, showing a steady hand and no hint of nerves. She did an awesome job. Thrilled for her. Okay, so someone debuted in this ice ribbon promotion someone tell me what that promotion is i don't know anything about it i'm sorry AEW fined ten thousand dollars by maryland state athletic commission what all of me has been fined ten thousand dollars by the state of maryland the maryland state athletic commission over the unsanctioned lights out match between john moxley and kenny omega at their full year pay-per-view check out the details below okay it's just a tweet after that so that was two days ago that is insane wait but wasn't that match a long time ago i think i actually heard about that okay so that's enough wrestling news for today i um i am going to go now so I will see you next time. If you want, you can like, comment on your opinions on anything I said or whatnot. Um, uh, give us, like I said, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you like my face, you can subscribe. And I mean, if my if when I upload is that important, you can hit the notification bell. Sure, why not? Um, but anyways, bye! I will see you next time.